the subsurface understanding in the different operators is a great opportunity because we are ahead of all the regional companies at this moment in time in terms of understanding and tackling the enhanced oil recovery problems. What I saw during my visit to the different operators is they're all developing their own study teams to try and understand the subsurface geological challenges and come up with individual solutions. If we put all of this together, I think we have an opportunity to not only address the local problems, but also uh, utilize this expertise to address problems that probably regional companies will be facing in a few years. And we are ahead of that. So we become a center of excellence, extending our services, of course, for a fee and, and so on, uh, regionally and probably even globally. Opportunity is huge. You know, the technology or best practice is not about talking about it, it's about doing it. And we deploy EOR across the full suite of our portfolio from thermal, chemical, missile. So we've got a lot of operational experience. And there are a number of areas that we're looking at um, uh, trademarking, IP solutions, but ultimately it's that execution experience that is invaluable. It's about the local supply chain that will be able to transfer that technology, to apply that technology in the region and beyond. As you know, um, extracting oil and gas in Oman is, is a difficult operation. We have an oil that is scattered uh, all, you know, in small oil fields. And they, they present lots of challenge and over the years we developed, as, as you're asking, um, very, very good knowledge of EOR. Um, we are not taking maximum advantage of this knowledge to export it outside. We're using it extensively in, in Oman to be more efficient and produce more oil. But the, we're missing, so far, we're still missing the opportunity of taking that expertise abroad, particularly in EOR. Some other areas we are. Um, and there's a, a big opportunity there for us, which, we're, which at the moment we're not exploring 100%. Basically, it's a fact that Oman has uh, widely used uh, enhanced oil recovery, uh, strictly speaking because of uh, it's the, na the nature of the reservoir it has uh, and uh, ne the necessary uh, technology required to enhance and increase the uh, oil recovery. Uh, so basically from that, we believe Oman has got a good uh, experience and this experience can be, can be uh, enhanced and can be uh, export to the region, uh, at least uh, in, in the region uh, uh, and to the uh, countries uh, around us. Uh, it's a very rich experience and I think uh, there's a big opportunity for that. Well, I think we did cover this topic uh, from a slightly different angle in terms of the capability and the intent and progress on developing technologies that can be exported. The EOR in Oman has been developing and progressing very well because of our, the nature of our uh, geophysics, the nature of our challenge. And I think uh, the level of uh, maturing process that it has reached here can qualify it to be used elsewhere to deal with similar challenges. Well, the EOR, as has always been said, uh, the cutting edge as Oman. So the local companies and the second tier and third tier companies rather than the international companies should be encouraged and be part of the uh, development. As a result, they can showcase uh, outside. Tight gas is a new, th a new theme as well. Uh, without involving a kind of col collaboration or the in-country value element in the tight gas, it would be difficult to export. But if you do it locally, you can easily export it uh, uh, and claim that you have done it. Okay, I think Oman has started very early on enhanced oil recovery, and uh, it's we see we can see there is a lot of uh, opportunities emerging, and we have been advancing quite fast, and there is a high momentum and governance on uh, the EOR, and I think there is a great opportunity to explore this technology and export it uh, regionally and internationally. Oman oil uh, being in fact uh, a conglomerate which is uh, primarily operating outside of uh, Oman with international investments uh, today. Um, we see uh, great value in uh, taking the EOR expertise built in Oman um, and uh, co-invest with our, let's say, preferred uh, partners in uh, countries requiring EOR. Okay, Oman uh, 
has a lot of experience in the tight gas and deep reservoirs, uh, been fracking and drilling horizontal wells. So they can market these uh, informations and these technology to the other countries basically by uh, maybe gaining opportunity in the other countries uh, to pick up leases or maybe they can go and say uh, expert in this ranking and be a consultant to the other com uh, uh, companies that they would require this type of work. Omani companies can establish themselves so they can transfer this technology and take advantage of it in the other countries.